Hey, what's up? This is a string bending lesson again, but this is a down bend. Whoa. You're like, whatever. I've been down bending strings all the time. Yeah, but can you do it within a riff or a lick in a solo or whatever? You know, I've got two or three other videos of bending, okay? Uh, but they're all bending up. Up is what? This way, right? You bend the string this way. And that'd be like string one and two. Definitely, you got to bend up, all right? These higher strings, you got to bend this way. They have nowhere to go down there. But where this uh, riff that this, okay, I'm gonna show you the bend first, obviously, and the technique, I'm gonna talk about it. But it's uh, within a song, Crying in the Rain by White Snake. Now it's gotta be off the self-titled White Snake album from 1987, it can't be one. There's a version of Crying in the Rain on an older White Snake album, not that one, okay? So here's the deal, this riff, uh, uh, it's literally the end of the intro riff. You know, if you listen to it, you can hear it. It's very fast, but it's basically the very end of the intro, right before the first riff, main riff of the verse begins. Okay, but anyway, and again, look, you all know me. I don't do like super pro video editing, like tab running underneath my head while I talk like a robot. No, no, it's all here. Okay, so you can have to just really pay attention. Okay, here's the, it's all on string five. So the bend is literally fret five, string five. And it's a full step bend. So if you're, you know, put your ring finger at fret five, string five. Middle finger behind it, fret six, string five. You've heard me talk about helper fingers. There it is. <clears throat> so the target bend is, if you're doing a full step bend from five, fret five, it's fret seven. That's your target bend. You gotta stop bending when you hear that note. Right? So what is fret seven? Ah. Oh, here it is. There's the full step bend from fret five. Now here's the deal. On this, you have to bend it and then release it back to the original note. So you pick the original note, which is fret five, string five, then you bend it the full step, maintain the pressure downward on the fretboard, and then release that is let the you know the bend release back to the original note which is the fret five string five like that i don't know if my amp's loud enough let's try it again i think i over bend it but whatever you get the idea pick bend release and again you're bending you're pulling down right that's the down bend right and you really have to do that on string five. You can't really push up. There's no fretboard left. Okay. Now this riff, if you listen to it, is eight, I think it's eight notes. So you're gonna slide to fret five. So that's slide to five. End up on open string six. Let me see, I think that's eight notes. Let me see if I can count that. Here's the interesting thing. So you, you slide to five with your ring. That's your first note. Then you pick that note again twice. So there's three notes, right? Then you re-pick it again to get the bend. That counts as two notes. The bend is one note. And then the release back to the original note is the second note. So slide to five. Pick it twice. That's three notes. Repick it again. So the repick and then uh, the bend and the release counts as two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's your eight notes. Wow, that is tough to remember. I'm gonna try to do this again slow. Three, two, oh man. Three on string five, two on string five, and then open on string six, okay? So again, slide to five, pick it twice, bend, release, three, two, down bend again like I said you know a lot of you would say yeah I've been doing down bends all the time I do it all the time what's a big deal video yeah but can you do it inside of a controlled you know structure like a riff like that 
or some kind of lick like in a solo. I mean, that's, you know, you got someday you got to put this kind of stuff you do just kind of messing around. You got to do it in a practical setting, right? Uh, so he's actually in the, I don't know, the song he's actually coming from, uh, two power chord. Rock. That's all I'm going to do. I don't know if that makes much sense. Listen to the song. It's a great song, by the way. That's like one of like 10 billion riffs in the song. Rock.